क्लास सेवन मैथ्स एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ हाइट्स ऑफ एनी टेन स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ योर क्लास सो नाउ लेट अस टेक हाइट्स ऑफ टेन स्टूडेंट्स लेट द हाइट्स ऑफ टेन स्टूडेंट्स बी सो लेट अस टेक इन सेंटीमीटर्स वन ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर्स वन टेन सेंटीमीटर्स 105 नॉट फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स वन ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर्स वन वन फाइव सेंटीमीटर्स वन वन सेवन सेंटीमीटर्स वन वन थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स वन ट्वेंटी एट सेंटीमीटर्स वन वन एट सेंटीमीटर्स एंड वन 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 सेंटीमीटर्स सो लेट दिस बी हाइट ऑफ एनी टेन स्टूडेंट्स ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन नाउ इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज आस्ट टू फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ दी साइड्स सो रेंज इज वॉट सो रेंज इज लार्जस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन माइनस स्मॉलेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन सो इन दिस डेटा लार्जेस्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन इज वॉट वन ट्वेंटी एट सेंटीमीटर्स सो वन ट्वेंटी एट माइनस smallest observation is what 105 cm so 105 128 minus 105 is what 23 that means 23 is what the range of heights of 10 students we have taken like this you find heights of 10 students of your class and find a range of those heights and write in comments what answer you get Exercise three point one. Question number two. Organize the following marks in a class assessment in a tabular form. Then find which number is the highest, which number is the lowest, what is the range of the data, and find the arithmetic mean. So now what we'll do? We'll organize the given marks in a tabular form. We should draw a table with items, marks, tally marks, and number of students. now in a class they have given marks of some students see there are marks like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right there is no 10 so what we'll do we'll write marks here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now we'll see what are this tally marks okay see this tally marks is nothing but to find how many times this one is repeated we'll just calculate here in order to not get confused for example see here this one right so here one is repeated once now what we'll put their tally marks we put one so the total number of students is what one similarly two see we have two here that is one So we'll put one here, and we have one more two. So we'll put one again here, and that's it. So number of students is what two. Next three, three we put one here. We have three only one frequency, and next four, four we have one here, and one more here that is two, and one more here that is three. So this becomes three. Next is what. Five, so five. We have one here, so we'll add one here, and we have one more here, so we'll put one more here, and again one. That is total three. Again five. That is total four. So we put number of students is what four, and six. If you take, we have one here, and one more here, one more here, and one more here. So total what four? Now we'll take seven. Seven we have one. So we'll put one here, and we have one more. That is two. So two number of students got seven marks. Eight. So eight is what here we got eight. So we'll put one here, and we'll put one. Next is what nine. Nine we have one here. So we'll put one here, and we'll put one. See in this process we have forgotten to take five here, okay? 
so what we'll put we'll add one five so for fifth one we'll just cross it okay and what we'll do we'll change four to five like this to not miss any data what we'll do we'll write this tally marks and total we'll write in the other table okay now if you total it we get 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 5 12 12 plus 4 16 16 plus 2 18 18 plus 1 19 19 plus 1 20 so total there are 20 students and one student got one mark two student got two marks one student got three marks three student got four marks five student got five marks four students got six marks two student got seven marks one student got eight marks and one student got nine marks like this we make a table now which number is the highest so highest is what nine so the number nine is what highest now which number is the lowest lowest is what one mark so one is the lowest so what is the range range of the data is highest minus lowest that means 9 minus 1 so 9 minus 1 is what 8 so 8 is the range of the data now we are asked to find arithmetic mean arithmetic mean is what sum of the observations divided by number of observations okay sum of observations divided by number of observations so if you add all these observations we get total sum 100 so sum of observations is what 100 divided by number of observations is what 20 so 21 is 25 so we get 100 that means arithmetic mean is what 5 so for this data arithmetic mean is 5 like this way we'll solve this problem number 2